Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on our channel Immortal News. Today we'll be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away, with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours. As always, we have special tributes in our today's top headline section. Before we proceed, we kindly ask for your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's begin, thank you. Number 4. Mike Jackson, a trusted voice and devoted journalist for decades, Mike Jackson, the iconic anchor of WCMH-TV NBC4, passed away on Friday at the age of 66, following a courageous battle with laryngeal cancer. With over four decades in the broadcasting world, Jackson devoted 25 of those years to NBC4, becoming a familiar and trusted face in many households. Unfortunately, he took a hiatus from the air in 2019 due to a stroke. Prior to this, Jackson anchored the 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. news, earning widespread appreciation for his segment, Better Call Jackson. In late 2022, he announced his cancer diagnosis, which tragically affected his ability to speak and required intensive treatments. Despite the personal challenges, he continued to keep his viewers informed about his health journey, highlighting his enduring dedication to his audience. Jackson's roots trace back to West Virginia, where he began his illustrious career in radio, later transitioning to television. His journey in journalism saw him hold various roles across different stations, including ABC6 and NBC4, which he joined in 1994. Behind the camera, Jackson was a loving family man, leaving behind a wife of 45 years, two daughters, nine grandchildren, and a close cousin who he regarded as a brother. His legacy as an exceptional journalist, devoted family man, and inspiring fighter will forever be remembered by those who knew him and the countless viewers he touched over the years. Tribute to Mike Jackson. Number 3. Adam Johnson. Adam Johnson, a revered figure in the world of ice hockey, has tragically passed away at the age of 29 on the 28th of October following a devastating accident during a game in Sheffield. As he played for the Nottingham Panthers against the Sheffield Steelers, Johnson suffered a severe neck injury after a collision on the ice. Hailing from Hibbing, Minnesota, Johnson commenced his professional journey in the American Hockey League. It wasn't long before his prowess caught the attention of major leagues, leading him to play in the National Hockey League for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Over two years with the Penguins, he made notable appearances in 13 matches, accumulating four points. One of his most memorable moments came in October 2019, where he netted a goal against the Minnesota Wild contributing to the Penguins' impressive 7-4 triumph. Johnson's passion for the sport also took him overseas, where he played in both Sweden and Germany, before returning to join the Nottingham Panthers for the 2023-2024 season. His untimely death has left the hockey community in shock and grief. The NHL expressed their heartfelt condolences, stating that their prayers and deepest condolences go to his family, friends, and teammates. An undeniable talent, Johnson's legacy on the ice will forever be remembered, but his impact off the ice as a teammate and a friend is equally profound. Tribute to Adam Johnson Number 2 Matthew Perry, a comedic genius and the heart of friends. Matthew Perry, whose role as Chandler Bing in the iconic NBC sitcom Friends endeared him to millions, has passed away at the age of 54 on the 28th of October. With the news confirmed by the Los Angeles Police Department and no indication of foul play, the world mourns the loss of a television legend. Throughout the 10 seasons of Friends, Perry's portrayal of Chandler, with his unmistakable sarcasm and wit, secured him a permanent spot in the hearts of fans. Acting alongside renowned co-stars Jennifer Aniston, David Schwimmer, and Lisa Kudrow, Perry's charm played a pivotal role in ensuring the sitcom's enduring appeal, with new generations discovering its magic even today. But beyond Friends, 
Harry's television career spanned almost 40 years. From his beginnings on 240 Robert to notable roles in the 2000s and 10s, including Mr. Sunshine and the CBS remake of The Odd Couple, Perry showcased his versatility as an actor. Off-screen, Perry grappled with addiction and health issues, which he candidly discussed, shining a light on the complexities of fame and personal struggle. Yet, the actor's undeniable charisma, combined with his raw talent, left an indelible mark on popular culture. His appearance on the Friends reunion not long ago was a testament to his enduring bond with the cast and fans alike. As tributes pour in from fans and peers globally, one sentiment remains clear. Matthew Perry's comedic brilliance and the warmth he brought to Chandler Bing will forever remain etched in television history. Tribute to Matthew Perry Today's top headlines. News 1. In a distressing turn of events that's gripped Colombia, Luis Diaz, Liverpool's Colombian soccer sensation, faces a personal nightmare. His parents were abducted on Saturday from a gas station in Barrancas, a northern town bordering Venezuela. Although his mother, Selenis Marulanda, was swiftly rescued, his father, Luis Manuel Diaz, remains missing. Reacting with urgency, Colombian authorities have deployed the national police and military in a massive search operation. A substantial reward of 200 million pesos, approximately $48,000, has been announced, urging the public to provide any relevant information. Amid fears that the kidnappers might escape to tumultuous Venezuela, Colombian officials are intensifying their efforts to block potential escape routes. The kidnapping has not only spotlighted soccer star Diaz, but has also reignited fears about Colombia's escalating insecurity after a noticeable lull. The country now faces the challenge of addressing this resurgence and ensuring the safety of its citizens. Meanwhile, the global soccer community stands in solidarity, anxiously awaiting the safe return of Luis Manuel Diaz. News 2 In an emotional gathering under the glimmering lights of Huntsville, Alabama's VBC Props Arena, the country music world took a pause to honor a living legend, Randy Travis. On October 24, 2023, icons like Kane Brown, Dennis Quaid, and Lori Morgan joined forces in the first of two tribute concerts, reminiscing the indomitable spirit and timeless music of Travis. A decade after a devastating stroke halted Travis's stellar musical journey, the icon was present, absorbing the love and admiration as fellow artists breathed life into his unforgettable tracks. Mary Travis, Randy's wife, spoke to Woman's World about the profound impact of the night. It's heartwarming to listen to other artists perform Randy's songs, and I know that he loves that, she expressed. The seven-time Grammy winner, who once dominated charts with hits like On the Other Hand and Three Wooden Crosses, may have faced health challenges that took away his voice, but his legacy remains louder than ever. Through the Randy Travis Foundation, he's making a difference, educating others on stroke recovery and aphasia. And for fans yearning for more of Travis's melodies, Mary dropped an exciting hint there is a 100% chance of more Randy Travis music from the vault that has never been heard. Stay tuned as the magic of Randy Travis continues to inspire, enthrall, and heal hearts around the world. News 3. Vincent Asaro, the infamous mobster acquitted in the legendary 1978 Lufthansa heist, a story immortalized in Martin Scorsese's film, Goodfellas, passed away this Sunday in Queens at the age of 86. Despite avoiding conviction for one of America's most significant cash heists, Asaro was later sentenced to prison for a shocking road rage incident. The Lufthansa heist, which took place at John F. Kennedy Airport, resulted in the theft of $5 million in cash and $1 million in jewels. The case remained a mystery until 2014, when authorities arrested Asaro, tying him and the Bonanno crime family to the high-profile crime. Though the heist took place over 30 years prior, Asaro's 2015 trial became a sensation, drawing significant public interest. Following his surprising acquittal, 
Asaro's life took another twist in 2017, when he was sentenced to prison for instigating a vengeful car torching incident. Though he could have faced 20 years, he was sentenced to eight, a term he referred to as a death sentence. His colorful, tumultuous life filled with high-stakes crimes and family ties marked the end of an era in New York's mob history. New 4. The world of basketball is in mourning after the untimely death of Jamarcus Ellis, renowned as a basketball icon from Westinghouse High School and later for Indiana University. At just 38, Ellis met a tragic end due to a devastating car accident. Based on reports from the Chicago Sun-Times, the accident occurred on October 27, 2023. Ellis tragically lost control of his vehicle, resulting in a collision with a viaduct pillar on Southwestern Avenue around 2 a.m. Following the crash, he was urgently transported to Mount Sinai Hospital where he was later pronounced dead. The Major Accident Investigation Unit is currently delving into the circumstances surrounding this heartbreaking event. The outpouring of grief has been immense. Ellis, affectionately known as Tone Tone in Chicago and Tom Tom among close friends, leaves behind a legacy that stretches beyond the court. His bond with Quitman Dillard, his coach at Westinghouse, epitomizes the impact he had on those around him. A heartbroken Dillard expressed, He was a son to me. I'm fractured right now. Ellis was a beautiful individual. We were always connected. I loved him dearly. Ellis's passing underscores not just the loss of a talented athlete, but of a beloved community member who touched countless lives. News 5. Former Coronation Street and Hollyoaks sensation Lucy Jo Hudson has made a brave revelation about her health struggles, capturing the attention and hearts of fans everywhere. Hudson recently disclosed her emergency hospital visit for a blood transfusion after her hemoglobin levels alarmingly plummeted. In a heartfelt update on Instagram, she disclosed her diagnosis of chronic anemia. Detailing her ordeal, Hudson expressed, I was very short of breath last week having chest pains and my HB levels were scarily low. Anemia, as clarified by the NHS, signifies a reduced count of red blood cells or hemoglobin, frequently due to iron deficiency, leading to symptoms like breathlessness and exhaustion. Lucy Jo Hudson expressed gratitude for the outpouring of warmth and support from her loyal followers, highlighting her progress post two critical blood transfusions. She optimistically noted the steady rise in her iron and hemoglobin levels, attributing it to her ongoing medication. Best remembered for her portrayal of Katie Harris in Coronation Street and Donna Marie Quinn in Hollyoaks, Hudson's revelation comes after her recent exit from the latter, intensifying concerns and well wishes for the beloved actress. News 6. Tributes poured in from Hollywood and beyond with Warner Brothers TV stating the impact of his comedic genius was felt around the world and his legacy will live on. Maggie Wheeler, who portrayed Janice on Friends, expressed her sadness on Instagram, emphasizing the joy Perry brought to many. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau recalled school memories with Perry and thanked him for the laughs. Meanwhile, Selma Blair shared an emotional tribute, fondly remembering her bond with Perry. Alyssa Milano highlighted his infectious humor, while Shannon Doherty reminisced about their long-lasting friendship. SNL honored Perry, who had previously hosted the show, and Adele dedicated a song to the legendary actor's memory during her Las Vegas show. Perry's family expressed gratitude for the outpouring of love and remembered him as a source of immense joy. Number 1. Robert Brewstein, a pillar of intellectual theater and advocate for artistic integrity. Robert Brewstein, the indomitable spirit behind nonprofit theaters rise in America and a vociferous advocate for intellectual theater, passed away at the age of 96 on October 29, 2023, at his residence in Cambridge, Mass. His dedication to the theater spanned roles as diverse as critic, teacher, producer, director, and playwright. Dean of Yale School of Drama and founder of both the Yale Repertory Theater and the American Repertory Theater at Harvard, Brustein shaped the landscapes of theater education and production, leaving a lasting mark on over 100 plays. For half a century, he shared his insights as a theater reviewer for the New Republic, urging the community towards brave, challenging, and intellectually stimulating works. His conviction lay in the sanctity of art, often taking stands against the looming shadows of commercialism on nonprofit theaters. His feuds with theater stalwarts, 
like the famed altercation with Samuel Beckett over creative freedom in Endgame, showed a man unafraid to ruffle feathers in the service of art. Yet beyond the controversies and debates, Brustein's true legacy was nurturing the theater scene, particularly in the Boston area, and fostering talents like Meryl Streep, Chris Noth, and Sigourney Weaver. His belief that theater should be a reflection of the world and a beacon of intellectual discourse will remain etched in the annals of American theater history. Tribute to Robert Brustein.